Um, I'm Charles Hare. Um, I'm the eldest of six boys, uh, born in Pembroke Dock, uh, and yeah, born at, actually in in Park Street, in the Medic Hospital. In 1935. And I'm David. I'm the second eldest, and I was born in Park Street. And we lived in Clarence Street, which is next street over. So um, during the during the the war, like we were able to get about down onto the beach to watch the Sunderlands and all, and up to the barrack here so we um, we had that sort of uh, opportunity to see what what was going on you know we, we had plenty of activity yes there, there was that time when we were on the barrack plane when uh, a German <laughs> plane came over we used to have a sack mm. rolling rolling down there rolling down the barrack hill. Yeah, that was a uh, favourite thing, wasn't it? Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> Those Hessian sacks, see, you can't get them now. But uh, this, uh, apparently this, uh, what, what I was going to say about this German plane came over that low that I can recall the pilot. He, he, you, you, well, he, he was that low, you could, you, could have, you could have touched it with sort of, well, well, with two broom handles. Um, and it was quite an experience, but uh, the uh, the explosion of the tanks, um, I can recall that uh, a large blast and the next thing we were running down Pembroke Street mm. and um, a lady grabbed us <laughs> and um, the next thing we were under this yeah, Elson, we were, yeah. Elson shelter, weren't we, yeah. it is in, her, in her house. So, um, yeah, how long we were there, I don't know. Scared the life out of Mum because uh, mm. she didn't know where we were. Mm. Yeah. I mean, the others weren't allowed out, our other brothers, because they no. they were no. so young. But we used to have a grand, grand time, like with, apart from playing up at Barrack Hill, we used to have Hancock's Woodyard. Mm. And we used to be over there playing amongst the huge logs and the timber over there. We had, and of course we used to go down Front Street. Yes. Halfway, and we built a raft or something. It floated for a while. And we were going to row out to the bungalows, out to the bungalows, <laughs> out to the Sunderlands. <laughs> I think we got about six, seven feet from shore, and then yes. we went down. It. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, of course. Um, um, we we all got uh, orphaned by the time we were um, due due to the war. Dad came out of Dunkirk and um, early, actually, um, paralyzed down on the left side. Um, and uh, he went back on the trawlers. He was on the second engineer on the trawlers at Milford Haven. And uh, on this particular trip, uh, this uh, trawler in fog got cut in two by a naval destroyer uh, on um, loan to our, it was a Canadian destroyer on loan to our government. And um, what, what, what happened was that uh, they thought at the time that uh, the uh, trawler was a German submarine because they used to um, manoeuvre it up and down our coast, especially in between Ireland and, and, uh, and uh, Wales. They, used to, that was their, they sank a lot of boats up that area at one time. So... Um, Dad, um, Dad went down. There was five saved of this particular. Uh, Ely was the name of the trawler, and um, of course, then um, what happened was that um, uh, being the um, eldest of uh, six boys, 
um, we um, we all got split up because mum couldn't cope with um, with such a large family. So um, uh, I got left home, um, knowing uh, I had the inclination at the time that um, that my brothers were going in to care. And, so um, yeah, we all en ended up in Croft House, which was opposite the Waterman's Arms, where the key is, where the where or where the the, the retirement bungalows are now, aren't they? The, um, yeah, it's Croft Court. Court. Yeah. Court. Yeah. That was a big uh, that was a big home there, Croft House. So yeah. they Look. shifted us up to there, and of course we were. As far as mum mum was concerned, we were we were okay. We were being looked after. Yeah. Charlie was uh, looking after mum and Spencer. Then. Spencer, young, uh, the youngest of the family. Um, so there's um, there's uh, like during the course of uh, ten years, mum had six boys. So um, there we are. And we're all alive, and we'll be hopefully. Charlie's birthday on the 22nd of May and if Billy comes it'll be the first time that we'll have all been together for oh nearly 50 years oh. Oh, yes, so you know if, if he come it'd be nice I'm not going to tell you how old Charlie is but he's a year older than me and I'm going to be 79 <laughs> <laughs> He's got his calculator out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so was your experience in the war, it, it ended there? Um, any, well, no, it, well, you we stayed were, in Croft House the well, rest of the war. Before we went into Croft House, we were shipped by lorry load, weren't we, out to oh, yeah, we, Saunders Footway. We got the evacuated. Um, we got evacuated. Yeah. They, uh, they had these uh, large lorries with mattresses in the bottom of the lorry. And then we, uh, we uh, ended up, David and I, ended up in um, um, Amroth with an elderly woman on the front. The uh, house, large house on the front of Amroth. Uh, we'd never seen sand before. <laughs> so, uh, of course, uh, we, 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 it didn't take us long to get onto the beach. Yeah. Great, that was. Uh, which was against all regulations <laughs> because it was all defensed off for in, in case of an invasion. So uh, the next thing we knew, we were in uh, inland on a farm. We were on a farm. God, that was an experience. That was. Yeah. Do you remember the name of the farm? Uh, no, I, I don't. Um, I, I can't recall the name of the farm. Um, I can remember that bedroom. We had a small window. And uh, <clears throat> we used to hear this noise in the morning, so what the hell was that? Well, we could manage to open the window and we looked out. Car horse, huge car horse, was rubbing his backside against the pier. He was virtually moving the building, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, but, the, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. the 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 lady, um, the, uh, the the mother there, um, there was. Uh, Three children, ginger hair they had, and um, anyway, um, we got on well with them really. But uh, the the lady there gave us or gave me one morning a jug, and said, uh, "Go up to the field, uh, and I want some milk." <laughs> I I said, uh, Which one's "I can't cow? recall," <laughs> but I innocently took this jug and went up the field. I'd never seen a cow before, and I, I was I was I was I was trying to milk this cow, oh. Oh. <laughs> but it's uh, it's quite an experience. Um, that wasn't too far. When you tried to milk the bull, that was <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then it turned, yeah. yeah. But uh, um, what else I'd like to add to it is that um, we um, cause. I must come back to the time that um, that uh, with uh, myself being left home with my youngest brother and mum 
and granddad lived with us. Um, and uh, after um, three years, mum died. And I ended up in Croft, Croft House in Pembroke with my other brothers then. So, um, and uh, my youngest, our youngest brother ended up in uh, Riverside Nursery because he was that young that he was, he was, mm. he was too young to go into mm. Croft House. But you're only 200 yards away. Uh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. That's but, where Grandad ended up as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah but um, um, David, um, yeah, you, you've done uh, work down here, didn't you? You started apprenticeship down here in Pembroke Dock, didn't you, with David Steele? Yeah. But uh, um, we, we did have the opportunity of all going as six brothers to Australia. Yeah, our brother, the, our father's sister in mm -hmm. London, we're moving out on that ten pound, you know. Yeah. Yeah, but that that was that was uh, after, later on that was. Were they? But we we they were, uh, we stuck together, yeah. didn't we? But, well, we stuck together, but eventually they split us up because. Spencer, as we knew, ended up in Bournemouth. Teddy went up to Cardigan. Billy, uh, Billy and Glenn went to Cheltenham. Yeah. And we we were left in Pembroke. Yeah, we stayed in Pembroke. But mm -hmm. uh, yes, the youngest, our youngest brother, um, was was orphaned out to uh, to a couple down in um, a place called Coughmullen. Near Bournemouth, and uh, but anyway, um, we we kept in contact um, uh, on a not a, on a regular basis. And, mm. uh, Did he keep his name here? No, no. He he took his adopted parents' his adopted. name. He, he, yeah, yeah. But he's he's changed back. Spencer's changed oh, back. I to, don't know. I, I don't. No, no. But when he was adopted, he um, he he, did. he was known by their family. Then. That's right. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Have you any recollections of the other bond sites within Pembroke Dock as children? Well, there was one house uh, got uh, hit with a bomb down in in Clarence, the top the top of Clarence Street. Right. Because mm. we used to go up to. Uh, uh, a large house in Clarence Street occasionally when the air raids happened because uh, that was the only house in the street that had a cellar. Mm. Was, you know the building that is the, um, I think it's elderly flats now, at, at the bottom of Brewery Street and Clarence Street? Oh yeah, there used to be... Um, was that a bombed house? area? That they, they had air raid shelters, they were uh, brick air raid shelters. Right. On that, on that particular square. Oh, yeah. So that right. square yeah. was unbuilt on then it anyway. It, it was. It, it wasn't was, due to bomb damage that it was cleared. No, it, there was air raid shelters there, uh, brick air raid shelters. Yeah, mm. on the surface. That's mm. right. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Did you collect the shrapnel? Did you collect the shrapnel? Did you collect the sh shrapnel from the bombing? Oh, we were too young to know. Too young. Oh, oh, no. No. We we used to uh, look out through the letterbox of the house. We were living in, and we could see the what the, the sky was lit up at night, with the due to the bombing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they were they, because there was a, it was always raids on this area, as you know. Um, it, <clears throat> were you hoping to dig up some uh, history of damage done by the bombs? Is that what you? I get get that impression from you. What you're saying? Yeah. You know? We, we were just asking your personal experience of the bomb sites. There was Law Street, there was Ap uh, Apley House, which is opposite the oh, yes. station. There was here at the bottom of Market Street. Yes. Um, you know, I just wondered, mm. being boys that were out and about at that age, mm. what, did you actually sort of walk through the damaged parts? Did, you know, have you anything that you could tell us no, about I, that I, at all? I can't recall uh, anything. We um, really, 
truthfully, we we did venture out, um, as you know, by going up to the Barrakela a particular day when that plane, German plane, passed over. Yeah. But um, um, uh, I can't recall going and seeing any particular bomb sites. No, like Pembroke Dock did have a blitz, didn't they? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. It, it was a big target for the Germans. Or rather, it was. Um, well, they knew what was here. Um, as as uh, there was as a lot of activity in the Haven, of course, with trying to destroy the Sunderland. Um, that's why they barrage balloons. No, you you haven't got any photographs of the air, uh, the the coverage. Done. Of the Sunderlands, have you? There? No, no. So this this is why people who have been there personally experienced it. This is why we we like you to tell us. You know that things that you saw, encountered what you knew other people had mm. had encountered at that time. No, you know, uh, uh, it's just uh, just those two uh, experiences, as I say here. Yeah. Um, but, uh, so as war went on, you stayed there, you obviously were growing older. What happened at the end of the war when you, when peacetime was declared? Where did you go well, from we there? Well, in the homes. Until you were adults, you then lived in... I was in the homes when I was yeah. 15. Yes. Charlie, or so... Well, um, well, where did I, you go I from there? I was 10 years old when... Well, I was, I was 13 when I went into um, Pembroke Croft. Croft House. Mm. Yeah. That was, of course, run by the county council. Right, right. Yeah, but Charlie was. Um, yeah, war ended. Um, mum, mum died after the war. Charlie was down with mum in Clarence Street, so, mm -hmm. but we were in Croft House. Mm. Um, do you know the names of the people who actually took charge of the house, ran it? Of, of which? Cough Court. Court. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Hughes, they were, they were running it. Yeah. Uh, Seth, Seth Hughes. Yeah, Seth Hughes and Mrs. Hughes. She, well, she was a qualified nurse. That's right. Yeah. Uh, you so can't remember him, Mary? Yes, because I did social work from college and they were still there. Really? Oh. Ah. Do you yes. remember Ivy then? Uh, Ivy Howells? Yes. Yeah. She she uh, inherited the house that Mrs. Hughes was living in. On the um, chamber. Yeah. yeah. Your daughter lives in her. Hey, yes, yeah. 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 What about any of the children in the homes? Do you, do you remember any of them? Uh, not the names, I can remember. It was what one school of the... did you go to, Mary? Uh, school? Yeah. Pembroke Grammar. Pembroke Grammar. Mm. Yeah. yeah and then I went away to college and I did social work. For a fortnight one summer. That's right. Yeah. And I used to walk the children up to up Golden Break. We used to sing the flowers, yeah. What well, right. you used to go to East End School or No, I was at Port of Impa Pembroke Dock. Oh you were all Albert Pembroke. Square, yeah. Uh, what schools did you go to boys? Moncton. Moncton University actually. Ever hired dogs And the coronation. Oh, the colonies. Yeah. Did, did you both sign up for national service after yeah. the war? You had to go. We had to go. Yeah, we'd done national service. Yeah, um, I think you were, spent your time in Germany. Germany. Uh, yeah. And uh, I went out to the Arabs, uh, yeah. to the Middle East. Yes. Um, which I don't regret. You know, it, it, it's a pity that it isn't running today. Yes. Yeah. And um, how, how did you, where did you move to when you left the home when you were adults? Uh, were, were you, you know, obviously when you were sort of eighteen plus, you you couldn't possibly stay at that home. Well, from the age of fifteen, we were uh, we we went into lodgings in in Owen Street in uh, Pembroke. Because this lady, actually, this lady, uh, well, she was like a mother, really. But uh, um, she'd had. Uh, we were we were four, 
I mean, what? No, there was David Bateman, um, and he was from the home originally. Um, and um, the, as I say, this was in as uh, Rogers, but she was like a mother, as I say. Yeah. So uh, I was there yeah. for, um, well, I had five years apprenticeship, being a carpenter, and um, then I went into national service. And I went back there af after national service, and, and I got married from that particular house. What was the firm that you must work with? Uh, Lakefield Joinery. Mm. Closed down now. Yeah. Opposite Mountain School. Uh, yeah, the on the bend. Yeah. That's it. Oh. Yeah. And you, David, who were you? Me, I, I worked in the steel factory. The steel factory. Yeah. From there I, I left Pembroke. Uh, I went to Coventry, worked in GC in Coventry. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.